So we're on our way to the Okinawa festival. I have a matcha coffee. In Japan, actually, because, okay, so it reminds me of going to Tokyo. So they had the best, best Starbucks drink I've ever had. It was a sweet potato one, but not like ube. It wasn't purple. It wasn't the purple sweet potato. It was just regular sweet potato. It was a frappuccino. And they had these little like crystallized pieces of potato on top of the foam. It was so good. I've, every time I pass a Starbucks in Tokyo, I bought one. I had so many of them. And now that's all I ever want when I see Starbucks. <laughs> I don't think they'll ever bring it here though. You would think they'd bring it to Hawaii, right? Because they get a lot of stuff that Asia gets, but no. And I didn't realize sweet potato was such a big thing in Japan. But yeah, there was like the sweet potato frappuccino and I saw sweet potato on a lot of menus because I went in like October. So it was like a fall thing. So I didn't realize people in Japan were that big into like the orange sweet potatoes. Same thing as us for like pumpkins, right? Like pumpkin spice, but sweet potato's way better than pumpkin spice. All right, well, no Chloe today. She's at her mom's, but we have Kaya. Hey, I think the girl just sleeping. Okay, see you there. We're here. Lots of traffic, but we made it. Get andagi because normally this is the longest line. If you've ever come to anything Okinawan, andagi line is always the worst. So we paid for the early admission tickets, so we're here before there's a line. So we are going to get plenty of andagi before the line turns into a monster. Got our scripts. So we're starting off with Okinawan soba. It has the Okinawan um, chashu pork. Looks like just regular noodles, kamboko fish cake. Uh, I see the pickled red ginger. That's a very Okinawan. I love pickled red ginger. And here's Kaya. Wake up, my baby. It's way earlier than usual for her. So we have soba. We have andagi. If you don't know what andagi is, it is like Okinawan donut, basically. It's a fried ball. And when you open it up, it's got a very, very soft, like pillowy filling. But it's very dense, bready. And they're so good. Oh my gosh, they're fresh. I can feel the warmth. Dad went off to go find some yakitori. There's more food booths over there. So he will be back and we'll check back in. Kaya gets the honorary first bite of noodles. Long noodles for long life. There you go, my baby. It took us um, over 30 minutes sitting in traffic to get here. Like not, not from our house, just to get through like three lights took like 30 minutes because um, everyone's trying to get to the same lane to, to park in the convention center garage. So definitely come early if you're gonna come. It was $5 extra to get the early bird, but I think it was totally worth it. All right, Kaya, would you like some pork? So Okinawa is known for, um, they're big on pork. Like actually over there, I can see pig's feet soup and yeah, they're big on pork. Dad got back, we have more food. We have yakitori, which is um, a grilled skewer chicken. And this is yakisoba, so fried noodles. Looks like the same kind of noodle as they have in here. Uh-oh, you dropped your bottle. So this is nice. I know last time we came to the festival, it was the lines were super long for food. Like you spent half of your time just waiting in line. So I'm really glad we got here early this year. So about these noodles. They're nice and thick. Um, this kind of noodle. It's not, it's not, so they say soba, it's not like the buckwheat soba. Um, this is a pork based broth. It's very oily, you can see, in a good way, in a good way. Bonsai Association. Wow, look how big. Cute. I like these ones, it's like the moss. Because it's so pretty. This is a pepper tree. I like all the foresty ones, like the mossy kind, like this. So pretty. I like that one. This one.
I know, I love your brownies. <laughs> I love your brownies in Wahiowa. Uh, I think I want this one. Please. Yep. Mm, Azuki's my favorite. Their brownies are super good too. We put them in the freezer at home and eat them. They're so good when you have them cold. Yep. Thank you. Bye. And then Kaya is just happy with her bottle. Look at all the mochi. I'm not a huge mochi person, actually. But look at all these flavors. Quite a few to pick from. All the different colors. I could do mochi like once in a while. Even then, I'll probably eat like two bites of it and I don't even finish the whole thing. Here goes Rick to get his ice cold Orion. Last time he was here, they had it on draft and it was super cold and icy. He said it was like the best Orion he's ever had last time he was here because they had it on tap so it was super super ice cold. This time it looks like it's cans but maybe they just have it like extra cold. It looks like it's the actual Orion freezer back here. Yeah. Good stuff. Start your day off with a beer. So they can only serve one beer per person. So Rick told them one is for me. So now I get to walk around holding a beer while pregnant and be judged. Thanks. <laughs> They have a cakey play corner, so you know what we're doing. Let's get Kaya out of the stroller, let her have some fun. <laughs> are covered in like forest scenes. Can you hear the bird sounds? I guess so if you get stuck you stay calm. So now we're upstairs. There's a bunch of like historical exhibits up here. Um, so there's a bunch of individual rooms. We just came out of a room that was talking about the Nisei, so the, um, the Japanese who started World War II. And then Kaya here, someone's getting a little sleepy, aren't you my baby? She loved the parade. So much noise, all the drums and banging and stuff. So we're gonna walk around, hit a few of the rooms, and hopefully find some more food. I'm still a little hungry, and I don't really feel like anything else they had down there, because every year at the Okinawa Festival, they have the same food every time. So I know what it is, I've had it. Some of it's good, some of it's fine. But I've had what I wanted, and I was different. Hmm. But for now, I'm just taking a rest. Rick is still inside reading the historical exhibit. I'm resting on the couch, because we're at what? 29, almost 30 weeks. So, yeah, I get out of breath pretty fast and I'm pretty big. So, all right, I guess I'll check back in a little bit. being a 
a kid and getting dressed up in the kimonos. Yeah, it's like a whole process. Someone has to help dress you. Like you can't do it yourself. So maybe they'll have something. We'll, maybe this one will tolerate it. Do you think? We'll see how. Goya, the bitter melon. This is Okinawan. See how it's extra bumpy? So that's the Okinawan style bitter melon. Different from what you always find in the stores. But yeah, you eat it with egg in the morning. It's, um, it's supposed to be really good for you. So they're giving out a bunch of seeds and stuff if you want. Yeah, see, so here's a, um, one of the Goya recipes. Pork and tofu. I've always had it with just um, egg. But this sounds good too. Maybe we cook this. Picture. So they have to get dressed by the ladies because there's like a certain way, like whichever side goes over the other. There's rules. Oh, look how cute you are! Hi. So as you could probably see, we're home. We forgot to film an outro. We were extremely tired, so we ended up. Oh yes, Kaya. She had so much fun. She was so tired. She slept for like five hours after we got home. We all did. We all came home and passed out. There was a ton of walking. We got some adorable pictures of Kaya dressed up in like traditional Okinawan wear. And we brought home some goodies. So we have treats for the week. So Okinawa festival is a success. I'm so thankful that they're finally doing festivals again. That they're finally letting us do things. I'm so tired of the lockdown stuff. And it was nice. There were some rooms you had to wear masks in because they had a lot of um, elderly people in it. And that's no problem. But yeah, I'm so glad. It reminds me of the last Okinawan festival we went to, which was 2019. It was the one right before the pandemic started. So I'm just glad. It was Kaya's first big event, her first time seeing that many people and doing that much stuff. It was super cool. And that's it for today. So I guess we'll see you guys next time. Say bye.
You having fun, Kaya? Yes, I'll yeah. have fun. 